Hello guys and gals, Mike here once again from Games for Charities, and tonight I'm in Dungeon Hearts. Uh, this is a game that you can actually get on Steam, it's not that expensive. And if you've ever played uh, Bejeweled or Bejeweled Bit Blitz, it's something like that, with a few twists. Um, a few things I'm going to go over here is you can switch the gameplay from normal to hard and easy. Uh, endless, where it just keeps going and going. And another thing too, you can actually look at the different bosses that you fight. I don't know what the story is, I haven't actually looked at that. And obviously tutorial, I'm sure everyone knows what that is. And options and quit. So I'm going to start off and show you this. Now, it's not like super huge graphic wise. But it does work the mind and that's what I like. So this is the enemy that I'm fighting here. This guy here. Now, this here is actually like a power-up. So if I click this, it's going to blow up. Kablam! That does damage to him. Now, you see how I have different colors here when I match them up. Blue ones make this guy attack, because he's blue. Red, do that one. So, this seems simple so far. I'm sure you're thinking that. Okay, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to get harder. Hopefully soon, though, it'll... Actually, I'm going to beat this guy real quick. Or not. See this here? Now, if that little guy there gets to here, that will be him attacking this guy here. Yellow will... Oops. Yellow will go to this guy. I didn't show you the other thing. I'll show it to you in a minute. <laughs> so, I beat that boss. Every time you beat the boss, you get to go and do this. What this is, is you're actually trying to get points down here for uh, teaching your guys new abilities. Which, who doesn't want new abilities to do new things with? Yeah. Oh, ooh, that was close. Um, now, I need at least five for blue ones to get a new ability there. Ten for the green, which obviously I didn't get any, so I didn't learn anything new. Now, another thing, too, if you have two together, it makes two of your guys attack. See, blue and green just attack there. It also makes it a higher damage modifier, so you want to try and stack gems together when you can to do more damage. Now, the game does get really harder down the line, because what's going to happen is you're going to have uh, enemy attacks that you have to actually attack twice to get rid of. Um, then there's even ones that you have to attack with certain colors to make it disappear. Which obviously that's going to make it a lot harder. I'm trying to get this quick, so hang on. Eh. Yeah. And that's it. But yay, I've got two different attacks. So I'm going to actually show you this right here. Now, then I unlock that attack. Okay, actually, first let me show you this. These gray ones, you can't do anything with, even if you put three in a row, it doesn't do anything. But you can at least move them around, so it doesn't really impede you too much. It just makes it take more time. Another thing I should show you, too, is you can actually move even the enemy attacks around, which makes it nice if you want to destroy multiple ones all at once. Look at that. So, alright, I'm going to show you this here. This, uh, I earned this by what we just did at the end. Now if you look, you got a little red button here, and if you want to hit it right before he lands to make him do more damage. Now each guy has different skills. At 40 I'll unlock another one, 20. Um, this one here actually heals, and when it comes up you have different colored gems that you uh, click on, and you can make it heal whoever you want to. Oops, wrong one to move this together. <laughs> Should have lined those up, but oh well. So another thing, too, that you'll learn is where you uh, click it, that's where the gem actually shows up. 
And as I said, the graphics aren't that great, but it is a lot of fun in my opinion. Um, another way it's going to get harder too down the road is you'll have more debuffs, which I've had a few debuffs go by, but I didn't actually show them to you guys. Like this here, this is a debuff. If that actually reaches here, it'll uh, make my guy do less damage. But as I said, you can get it on Steam. Check it out. A lot of fun, in my opinion. It's not your cup of tea. Oh well. I'll forgive you. <laughs> um, as the attacks, I'm going to let attack get to me now so you can actually see what it's like. Um, as the attack hits you, you can see that lose a little bit of life there. When this reaches zero, this guy will actually die, and his gems won't do anything. They'll all actually just disappear and make him weaker. Uh, they'll disappear when you just click on them, basically crumble. Dead. Oh, this is definitely gonna kill him. Oh! Knock the beep out! See, as you can see now, I click on these and they just disappear. So, really not much use. Um, there is a way to bring them back to life. I'm not gonna tell you how it is. You'll have to find that out on your own. But, anyways, guys and gals. I'm going to move on to another thing here, and actually I think I showed you everything. You can save it, by the way. Okay, save and exit. Um, I'm not sure how to load it. <coughs> Excuse me. Resume, right there. So, anyways, you've seen everything pretty much that I know. I hope this helps you a little bit. Thanks for watching. Cheers.